What are the best tweeters? This question comes from Siddharth. I don't know, it wasn't there a story, Siddhartha? Anyway, Siddharth in India, I seem to remember something about that, and he writes, which tweeter do you prefer? Soft dome like silk dome or hard domes like aluminum domes? Hard dome tweeters are mostly considered as bright and sometimes harsh, while soft dome tweeters are generally sweet sounding. Also, the Kef LS50s have hard dome tweeters and they are also considered as bright speakers, though also very detailed at the top end. So don't get me wrong, they are fantastic, but still, I consider them to be bright speakers. Um, I'm not sure I agree with you, Siddharth, on, on the Kefs. I have those at home and I don't find those bright at all. But in general, I think your characterizations of the different kinds of dome tweeters is generally spot on. An awful lot has to do with the designer. So how you cross over a tweeter, if you take it into its region where, like, like a, a hard dome, a metal dome tweeter, as you take it down too low, it, it starts doing some really bad sounding harsh things. And so you don't want to do that. But a lot of times designers are forced to because they have only a two-way system, like in the KEFs, right? So you only have a woofer and a tweeter and you got to take the tweeter down as low as you can because you don't want the woofer going up too high because woofers going too high in frequency can sound like crap too. So it's always this balancing act, which is of course why a mid-range helps things out so that the tweeter doesn't have to go so low and the woofer doesn't have to go so high because you're filling that, that in with the mid-range. And uh, so it's all about limitations, what you're able to do, how clever you are in the way that you do it. Like I've watched Chris takes you know some some drivers of ours that sound great 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 and when you get down here at this frequency they start honking and they start sounding bad so we got to raise it back up and then how quickly can you get out of it so we don't hear any of that honk that's all in the crossover all of it is in the design you can make hard dome soft dome tweeters with proper design just sound wonderful and there are plenty of examples of speakers with different uh, hard, hard dome, soft domes that sound terrific and lots more that sound like dog do. You know, speakers are tough. They are extremely imperfect devices and it's just kind of the way they are. My preference for tweeters, ribbons. Yep, ribbon tweeters, ribbon mid-ranges. Boy, if you can in our upcoming line of speakers that we've been promising forever, and you will see those in 2020, or they're going to have to haul me out of here. Um, well, all of them will have uh, ribbon tweeters, and the very first ones will have ribbon mid-ranges, because those in the right designer's hands, in capable hands, just sound amazing. They're quick, they're fast, they're neither harsh nor gritty or abuse. Or any, I mean, they're just... They sound like music. So definitely ribbon tweeters are my favorite. But in direct answer to your question, yeah, you just, you, you just need a lot of skill as a designer so that they don't sound hard, bright, and all those adjectives that you use to describe them. I hope that helps. All right. Thanks for the question. Take it easy.